The danger isn't always easy to spot. It can hide right in front of you, dressed up like regular stuff. When you go about your daily life, talk to people, or walk down the street, there could be someone nearby keeping a big secret. A secret that might involve deceit and danger. Have you ever wondered how complicated our world can get? In the dark corners of the world, there are places where mystery and danger intertwine places where hard-to-find people exist. Let's peel the layers of the 10 most wanted criminals who have managed to escape from the law. In 2013, Villarreal Hernandez is alleged to have ordered the murder of Jose Antonio Villarreal Hernandez. The victim was a former member of the BLDTO who had turned informant for the DEA. Villarreal also had TIs with BLDTO and is believed to have tracked the victim down to South Lake, Texas, and had him killed. A federal arrest warrant was issued for Villarreal Hernandez on June 20, 2018, but he ran away from the grasp of the law. Finally, Villarreal Hernandez was arrested on January 7, 2023, in Atizap and Zaragoza, Mexico by Samar and agents from Criminal Investigative Agency. 59-year-old Donald Fields, too, was accused of the unthinkable crime child sex trafficking and child rape. The tale sends shivers down the spine. A web of darkness stretching back to 2013, a reign of terror that lasted till 2017. Donald ruined the lives of hundreds of children. Finally, the screams of children reached the law and Fields' day of reckoning approached. A court date is set for March 2, 2022. The survivors and their families held on to the hope that justice would finally be served, offering them a chance to heal and find closure. But like a phantom, he vanished, as if he had evaporated from existence, defying the very grasp of the justice system that had been poised to confront him. The FBI is offering a reward for information leading to the arrest of Donald and he is in the most wanted list of the FBI. It is just unbelievable that a monster like him is dwelling among us. Imagine this, you invest your hard-earned money and you get not a single penny in return. You helplessly watch all your money sinking. Ruya Ignatova, a Bulgarian-born German citizen, the brain behind the fraudulent cryptocurrency scheme known as OneCoin. In 2014, Ignatova launched OneCoin, enticing investors with promises of huge returns. This fraud scheme promised riches beyond imagination, but in reality, it was a web of lies that soon unraveled. But as investigations closed in, Ignatova vanished into thin air in 2017, leaving a trail of questions and unfinished business. Her brother, Konstantin Ignatov, would later plead guilty to fraud and money laundering connected to the scheme. While some believed she met a gruesome fate, the FBI's special agent Paul Roberts maintained that their investigation operates under the assumption that she is still alive, with no evidence to the contrary. Castillo took loan from Misla and arranged a meeting at a quick trip on Eastway Drive. Instead of repaying the money, he coerced her to withdraw all her savings from her bank account. Lo withdrew $1,000 from an ATM, and shortly after, she vanished. Investigators believe that Castillo took Le to a wooded area in Cabarrus County, where he shot her and left her lifeless body in a ravine. Castillo and his girlfriend, Amia Feaster, fled the scene in Le's stolen car and crossed the border into Mexico, where surveillance footage captured Castillo entering the country. Despite extensive investigations, Castillo has managed to evade capture. He's believed to be hiding in Mexico, possibly in areas like San Francisco de los Romo in Aguascalientes. Wilver Villegas Palomino is a huge name in international crime and terrorism. His charges include narcoterrorism, international cocaine distribution conspiracy, and international cocaine distribution, all of which culminated in a federal arrest warrant issued in the U.S. District Court Southern District of Texas Houston Division in 2020. Villegas Palomino's criminal involvement spans borders. He's accused of being a key figure in the ELN Northeastern War Front ELN F, orchestrating drug trafficking activities in the Catatumbo region of Colombia and Venezuela. Federal officials reveal a disturbing enterprise. The ELN F is responsible for churning out approximately 200 tons of cocaine each year, but the story doesn't end with drugs. The proceeds from this operation fund the ELN's nefarious activities. Terrorism, sabotage, and political manipulation all aimed at destabilizing government institutions and undermining U.S. national security and law enforcement interests in the region. Badrash Kumar is an Indian fugitive wanted for allegedly killing his wife Palak Patel in Hanover, Maryland, USA, on April 12, 2015. 
He was added to the FBI 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list on April 18, 2017. On the night of April 12, 2015, Patel and Palak were at a Dunkin' Donuts store in Hanover. They were captured on surveillance footage walking together in the kitchen. Patel emerged alone later, leaving the store. Palak Patel's body was discovered that night. She had been beaten and stabbed multiple times. Investigators believe the couple argued over returning to India or staying in the US. Patel was last seen at Newark Penn Station on April 13, 2015. Authorities believe he may have fled the country or is hiding with relatives. Yulan Adenay Arkagakarius, a Honduran fugitive and suspected leader of the MiZ-13 gang in Honduras, he's wanted for racketeering, narcotics trafficking, and firearms offenses. Arkagakarius allegedly controls MiZ-13 activities in Honduras, providing weapons, drugs, and money to gang members in the United States. He's also believed to have ordered rival gang members' murders. He was arrested in 2015 and was imprisoned in Honduras for money laundering and illicit association. In 2020, he escaped during a court hearing, aided by a MiZ-13 squad. Yes, right in front of Thousand Eyes. He managed to escape so easily. In 2021, he became the 526th fugitive on the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitives list. A reward of up to $100,000 was offered for information leading to his capture. Omar Alexander Cardenas haunts the shadows as an American fugitive and suspected member of the notorious Pierce Street Gang in Los Angeles. His sinister story landed him on the FBI 10 most wanted fugitives list on July 20, 2022. Cardenas is wanted for the most heinous of crimes murder and unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. Authorities believe he has vanished into the streets of Mexico. August 15, 2019. Cardenas is accused of ruthlessly shooting and killing Jabali Dumas, an innocent soul, outside a seemingly benign barber shop in the Silmar neighborhood of Los Angeles. Omar Alexander Cardenas, the specter on the run, has etched his name in the annals of darkness, a dreaded chapter I. Arnoldo Jimenez and Estrella Carrera were married in 2012, in Chicago. Carrera had a 9-year-old daughter and a 2-year-old son with Jimenez. It is believed that on their way home from a night out, the couple had a serious argument. The next day, Carrera was found dead in her apartment and the mystery remained unresolved. Police arrested Jimenez's brother, Humberto, in September 2012 on drug charges. During the arrest, they found Jimenez's car with blood inside. This led police to conclude that Jimenez had killed Carrera in the car and then left her body in her apartment's bathtub. On May 15, Jimenez was charged with first-degree murder and a warrant was issued for his arrest but never got arrested. Police believe Humberto drove Jimenez to Mexico. The tragic tale of Alexis Flores haunts our collective memory as he stands among the FBI's most wanted fugitives and elusive specter escaping justice since the early 2000s. In 2002, he was caught in Arizona for shoplifting and presenting fraudulent documents to police. A conviction marred his record, leading to 60 days behind bars before release in June 2005. But later on, a tragedy struck when a five-year-old girl named Iriana de Jesus went missing on August 3, 2000. Her body was found five days later, leading to a manhunt for Carlos in 2007. DNA evidence linked Alexis Flores to the crime, placing him on the FBI's most wanted list with a reward of up to $250,000. Despite being sent back to Honduras, he remains elusive, leaving behind a tragic tale of loss and suffering. It's a chilling reminder of how people can harbor darkness within. These fugitive stories span a wide range of human actions, from theft and lies to terrible crimes. It's a humbling glimpse into the complexities of human nature. We appreciate you tuning in to learn about these individuals who have managed to evade justice. If you found this video informative, please share your thoughts in the comments below and consider sharing it with others. Don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking content.